ericmorgethmother.com in the spirit of understanding primary trend lines. And I'll include a link back to this playlist where we discuss primary trend lines. Lots of videos in this playlist. All right, so let's go to this example. It is for Bank of America. And we have data here on the monthly, all monthly going back from 1986 to 2018. I want to show you that there was a primary trend line break before the major crash of 2008. Now, if you take the RSI lows here and these lows, you can make a straight line, which is a primary trend line because it connects to all time RSI lows at the time. And you can see the implications of breaking below this primary trend line. Once we broke that, which was somewhere here in the lower 40s since that break or after that break I should say once this broke off those price levels you can see after that primary trend violation we had a huge drop so primary trend lines are very powerful if you understand how to use them or at least if you understand the implications of breaking above or below primary trend lines take a look again I'll provide a link in the description of the video bring you back to this idea which is my own original concept eric with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see yes oh yeah